I put together a list of five. Okay, for atomic structure, I made six pieces of information you must know going into the chemistry regents exam. I base this on the number of times questions regarding this, these six pieces of information are showing up. So let's get started. For number one, you need to know, of course, the particles that make up an atom. They are protons, neutrons, and electrons. Not only that, you need to know their charge. Protons are positive, neutrons have no charge, electrons are negative. Where they're located. Protons are in the nucleus, so are neutrons, they're in the nucleus, and of course electrons on, are on the outside of the nucleus. As far as mass, a proton has a mass of one atomic mass unit, neutrons essentially the same one atomic mass unit. For electrons, it's only approximately one two thousandth the mass of a proton or a neutron, so we say essentially zero. Know this, write this down a couple of times if you don't remember it, to make sure you remember it. So, with this information, protons and neutrons make up the mass of an atom. That, of course, is also called the mass number. The identity of an element only goes based on one subatomic particle, that is the number of protons. That is the atomic number. Moving right along for number two, an isotope. Isotope, you have the same number of protons, different number of neutrons. So here if I have chlorine 35 and chlorine 37, they differ in mass number, but they would have the same atomic number, which is 17. So you have to know same number of protons, different number of neutrons, which means different mass number. For number three, remember MELPS helps. So let me erase this and let's write down what MELPS means. MELPS is just short for metals, electrons, lose. They become positively charged and the ions of metals are always smaller than their parent atoms. So MELPS, M-E-L-P-S, is just to help you remember this information. Of course, for metals, they lose electrons, become positively charged and smaller. The opposite happens for nonmetals. They gain electrons, they become negatively charged and bigger. For number four, calculating atomic mass. This shows up I can pretty much guarantee you every Regents exam. An atomic mass is what we call a weighted average where I'm not just taking the different masses of the isotopes, adding them together and dividing by a number. I need to take into account percents. Now I have get mad here because one of the ways you can do it is multiply the mass that's given for a particular isotope times the percent and let's say it's just two isotopes so I would multiply the mass of the second isotope times percent I would add them together I'm gonna to get an answer and then I go ahead and divide by a hundred to get the actual atomic mass I have a video on atomic mass determination check it out work on a couple of problems Let's move to number five, ground state and excited state electron configurations. On the periodic table, every element's electron configuration, according to the Bohr model, is underneath the atomic number. And I just circled the one for carbon. These are all ground state electron configurations, meaning electrons filling in the lowest energy levels. So, for example, for carbon, if I wanted to show an excited state, I, one or more electron would be promoted. So, for example, if I did 2, 3, dash 1, 
now one of the electrons from the second level got promoted into the third. So that would be an example of an excited state for carbon. So whether it's excited or ground state, check out the periodic table and more specifically the electron configurations here under atomic number. The last one, the definition of an orbital. Orbitals are the regions of space where we're likely to find electrons. This is the present day model also known as the wave mechanical model. Electrons don't orbit around the nucleus. That was the Bohr model or what was thought based on the Bohr model. But it's a region of space where we're likely to find an electron. Go over these pieces of information because these are the ones that show up most often. There is more information with regards to atomic structure that you need to know but this information you must know.